Hey Mac Geeks, well today for you I have another video, another unboxing video. Apple recently came out with its new Magic Mouse and I thought we'd take a look at that. I just got mine, here it is. Uh, it's in this nifty case at the Apple retail store. A little bit hard to find. Uh, I had a hard, had to call day after day until they actually had them in stock. It took about three or four days before my local Apple retail store had them. Uh, available for sale, but I got mine today and I thought we'd open it up for you take a look see what it is like to unbox it and See what's in the package and stuff. So uh, there it is new magic mouse. Let's take a look Okay, so here is the magic mouse and its package as you can see it's uh, pretty thin on the profile here flip it over to the bottom and I'll bring this up closer so you can hopefully see this um, the magic mouse and then there's little instructions here on the different features the one button click the two button click 3d scrolling screen zooming with the option key held down and the two finger swipe and to open up the package it can be a little tricky I've seen other unboxing videos where they've tried to get through this tape but if you look right down here on the bottom corner there's a little tab and all you have to do is peel that up take that off there and then you'll see that it just simply flips open you can open it up like that and then this should just lift out lifts right out it is on a little tray as you can see here flip it over and the way it's attached to this base, it's another little piece of tape, or actually a long piece of tape that goes the full length of the bottom of the mouse, in there, another little tab shows you where to peel it. We peel that off, take that piece of tape off, and then it will simply just separate from this little piece of plastic here. So before we take a look at the mouse itself, Let's take a look at what is else is in this box. Here is the little Magic Mouse instruction booklet. Also some legal copy and stuff like that. And let's see, usually sometimes there's some Apple stickers, but I'm not seeing them with the Magic Mouse, unfortunately. It looks like uh, Apple shortchanges on the stickers, but got your instructions there. And that's pretty much it for this case. Um, many people have compared this case to maybe a soap dish, so I don't know if Apple, as part of its greening effort, is thinking maybe we can do a little bit of recycling on this. <laughs> you could reuse this as the soap dish in your bathroom, but definitely a possibility. Let's move that out, out of the way. So then you have the Magic Mouse. As you can see, the whole surface is just one solid, continuous piece of white plastic. There's actually... I don't know if you can see this in the actual video, but there's a kind of a thick layer of uh, clear acrylic over the white, uh, subtle gray Apple logo down here at the base. Flipping it over, something I was wondering about is, are the batteries included? Because you do need batteries for this. And popping the cover off by simply pulling this little tab here does come already ready to go with AA batteries. And there are two AA batteries to power the Magic Mouse. As, and I don't know if you could hear it when I popped this off, but the whole bottom base is aluminum. It's all metal, so the construction on this is fabulous. It is really nice. Two black rails here that it'll actually slide on, and it's probably, again, hard to tell from this video, but they're slightly raised against this curved edge. There's a little, little edge to them. They're almost like two little ski rails or something like that. The optical sensor there, the laser sensor, and an on-off switch. So if we flip it on, should see the green light go on right there and it's powered on so uh, that is unboxing the new Apple magic mouse and uh, I'll hopefully be using it over the next couple weeks or so and give you more of my long-term opinion I told you already that you know while it feels very comfortable in your hand it's a nice and slim design I love the fact that this curved bevel edge beveled edge under here gives you a nice place to grip the mouse so moving it around is really nice the scrolling action is very natural scrolling up and down or the 3d scrolling 
uh, the left and right clicks perfectly fine. Where I ran into trouble with it was with the two finger swipe motion. It's pretty easy to go this direction, not too bad. For me, it's a bit uncomfortable to try and hold the mouse here and go from the right side to the left side. That seems a little uncomfortable for me. And the mouse just doesn't have quite enough weight to where if you try and, you can see there, even if you're trying to go lightly and not hold the mouse, you have a tendency to push it over a little bit. So I'm going to have to play around with it a little more, get used to it, give you my more long-term opinion. But initially, I think it's the best mouse Apple's put together to date, but I'm just not sure that it's going to match other physical button, two-button two scroll wheel mice that are out there, at least for me.